All right, everybody, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing um, Hebridian, Hebridian. Has anybody heard of this cruise line? I have not. So it's a, a new one for me. Um, again, if I'm mispronouncing it, please let me know. I think it's pronounced Hebriden. Hebriden, thank you. It's Scottish. Okay, <laughs> okay perfect. Good morning. All right, Hebriden, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, so is everybody in and registered? Um, again, very easy to register. It's online OTT. Um, also, make sure you're in the um, UK flag, okay? UK flag. And then that's where you'll find our, our training today, okay? And then you can just go here and type in Hebriden Island Cruise Course, okay? And then here we are. All right. So uh, we have five courses today. We have a video. So let me know that everybody's in and ready to go, and we'll get started. Next next Sunday, we're doing Peak District Derbyshire. Again, I don't know what that is, but let's see what that is. Peak District and Derbyshire. That is Britain's original national park. Okay. So some different different ones that we're going to be doing. All right, let's go ahead and get started mm -hmm. then. I think everybody's good to go down here otherwise. So <clears throat> he brightened, he brightened, right? Island Cruises is the pioneer of small ship Scottish cruising. Good morning. Operating three small and unique ships. Each one offers a different price point with all cruising the highlands and islands of Scotland, the Caledonian Canal and the Isle of Man, Orkney or the East Coast of Scotland. So we'll watch a quick little video here. Let's see, it's not a quick one. It looks like it's a little long one. Maybe we'll speed it up just a bit. Yeah. Calling life's explorers, adventurers, fun lovers, and nature lovers, as we invite you to join us on a journey of discovery aboard the Hebridean Princess. I mean, that's we have spent many fast. years and endless voyages Hebridean. perfecting our craft, creating our unmistakable country house atmosphere, unmatched attention to detail, and unfaltering level of customer care. But it's only when we hear those guests refer to the Hebridean Princess as like home but better that we feel our job is done. Scotland isn't just one thing, but a myriad of many. And as you embark on your voyage, life on the water brings an immediate sense of peace and the opportunity to marvel at unrivaled views of our stunning coastline, to catch rare glimpses of wildlife, or to simply lose yourself in the moment. And that is exactly why we have created a season-long portfolio of magical, exciting, engaging oh, and thought-provoking cruises. Showcasing Scotland's highlands and islands and catering, we believe, for every taste. And although two voyages may never be the same, you can always be assured of quality and comfort. Elegantly appointed cabins provide a luxurious retreat for both couples and single guests. Our 20 double cabins, including one suite and four with private balcony, offer generous living spaces with all the finishing touches. Soul travellers will be pleasantly surprised to find that our 10 dedicated single cabins come supplement free, with every guest enjoying the very same level of service, irrespective of the cabin you select. From the very start of your cruise, we invite you to make yourself at home. Our cosy Tyree lounge with comfy sofas and brick Inglenook style fireplace, lookout lounge, conservatory and wood panelled library offer tempting areas for time out. However, panoramic windows ensure when it comes to scenery, there's no such thing as missing out.
tours on board give a whole new meaning to the term all-inclusive, as our captain invites you to see life as we do from the ship's bridge. We welcome you to compare notes and perhaps steal a few secret tips as you join our resident chefs in the galley. And okay, step into our w, very w, 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 tour of our engine room by our Selected cruises include onboard guest speakers, chosen as an authority in their field and for their ability to bring enthusiasm and flair to every trip. No worries, we just started watching the video now. We have limited to life in the open water. We also embrace the pool of dry land, with daily excursions by tender or speedboat, accompanied by experienced guides, offering exclusive access to the pick of Scotland's stately homes and historic castles, cool country paths and gardens. Themed itineraries, picnics, fishing trips and more ensure we always have plenty of fun and unique ideas to occupy your time. And as the day slips away and we weigh anchor for the night, Hebridean Princess takes on a whole new persona. As the doors to the Columba restaurant open, invigorating walks, speedboat trips, whiskey tours and bicycle rides give way to a touch of decadence and fine dining as we entice you with our chef's latest culinary delights, showcasing the very best of locally sourced produce carefully paired with our chosen <laughs> exactly. ones of the day. And twice weekly gala dinners offer a full gourmet experience complete with champagne reception. Captain and officers play perfect hosts, bringing single passengers, couples and groups together in convivial conversation. This extends to our after-dinner talks, providing fascinating insight into our voyages, including a flavour of the next day's itinerary. As Britain's only independent luxury cruise line, we take pride in our belief that it's sometimes the very smallest touches that make the world of difference. Our aim is to help you celebrate family, make memories, forge new friendships, and to perhaps discover a side to you that you never even imagined was there. And as your voyage comes to an end, the only question you might be left with is, when can we do this again? Hebridean Princess, we look forward to welcoming you on board. Right there, you're going to register with OTT. You're going to go to the UK flag and then type in Heberdean. Heberdean. Okay. All right. So we just got started. Get that All right. All right, so um, Hebridean Island Cruises is the pioneer of small ship Scottish cruising, operating three small and unique ships. Each one offers different price point. Okay, we read through that, sorry. All cruising the highlands and islands of Scotland, Caledonian Canal, Isle of Man, Orkney, or the east coast of Scotland. So who is Hebridean Island Cruises? All right, so we're going to start the lesson again. If you're just registering, don't worry. We will wait for you when we get to the test, okay? Um, but just keep your ears open so you can help out with the test, right? Okay, get out of this. There we go. Oops, let me get out of this. There we go. All right, let's start the lesson. So Hebridean Island Cruises is a pioneer. Okay, we read through this already at the bottom here. So, Hebridean Pr uh, Princess, Price Point, an iconic, fully inclusive vessel and the epitome of understated elegance for just 48 guests sailing to the highlands and islands of Scotland, Isle of Man, Orkney, and Shetland, delivering a style of service from a bygone era and more akin to a private yacht than a cruise ship. The 28 cabins are elegantly Furnished with public rooms reminiscent of a stately of a stately home. Lord of Highland, Lord of the Highlands, Price Point is that continues the Hebridean tradition of providing the highest quality uh, holidays afloat. A hand-picked crew takes care of guests every need, and the company of just 38 fellow guests ensures that a relaxed house party atmosphere is a typical. Um, is typical on every cruise on the Caledonian Canal, Highlands and Islands, Orkney and East Coast of Scotland. Lord of Glen's price point, the perfect way to explore the Caledonian Canal and the Highlands of Scotland in a relaxed atmosphere. Her classical appeal embraces timeless style with polished wood and teak uh, decks offering delicious cuisine and personal service for just 50 guests. 
Already to our test, guys. Okay, so that was a quick one. So again, if you're just registering, we'll put the answers in the chat box for you. How many ships does Everdeen Island Cruises operate? One, two, or three? Three. Three, very good. All right, put that in here, three. All right, where do Hebrideans ships sail? Scotland, Mediterranean, or the Caribbean? Scotland. Scotland. Very good. Scotland. <clears throat> Which of the Hebridean ships offers the lowest price point? Was it the Princess, the Lord of Glens, or the Lord of Highlands? Lord of the Glens. Lord of the Glens. Very good. Thank you. Uh, which of the Hebridean ships offer the highest price point? The princess. Princess. Very good. Somebody's paying attention. Princess. All right. And then which of the ships offers the mid price point? The Highlands. Highlands. Very good. All right. So congratulations. You've now passed the first course. It was pretty easy, right? Now we're going to move on to Hebedrian Princess, lesson two. All right. So Hebedrian um, Princess is Hebedrian's flagship and the sails mainly from her home port of Oban um, in Scotland. Again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing. Her regular cruising area is the Highlands and Islands of Scotland, but she also ventures to Southern England, Northern Ireland, Ire. Uh, Wales, Isle of Man, the Channel Islands, the Isles of Sicily, 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 Northern France, and Belgium. Her small size means that she can access small bays, locks, and remote islands behind, <laughs> behind the reach of larger vessels. The Hebridean Princess Cruises are fully inclusive. They include fine dining experiences, uh, co complimentary drinks, including uh, Tottinger Champagne, engaging shore visits, gratuities on board and ashore, guides and guest speakers. Elegantly decorated and furnished, the 28 cabins on board the Hebridean Princess are individually designed with lovely Scottish fabrics and tart tartans. Named after Scottish Isle, locks and castles, they are amongst the most spacious for ships of her size. Almost one third are dedicated to solo travelers with no supplementary charges. There is also one owner's suite and four cabins with a balcony. All right, so let's watch this short video. generally two shore visits per day on Hebridean princess cruises. These are castles, gardens, and historic homes, some of which are not open to the general public. So that's kind of cool, right? Guests can also walk ashore, explore with the ship's bikes, or take a speedboat ride or fishing trip. So another quick video. that is. I just want to travel the world, huh? I want to go live in a castle.
Uh, the Columba restaurant is where breakfast, lunch, and dinner are served in one sitting. All meals are freshly prepared using locally sourced produce, produce with lunch and dinner menus paired with specialty selected wines. The final night of every cruise witnesses the farewell gala dinner with an address to, uh, to a haggis, haggis. Dinner is always at anchor, but breakfast and lunch are often taken whilst heading to the next destination. Occasionally, barbecues and cocktail parties are held on deck. So traveling to and from Heb 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 uh, Hebridean Princess could not be simpler with specifically thought out transfer and car parking arrangements. We can assist with rail and air travel to Glasgow and Inverness to connect with our coach transfers to Oban, Greenock and Inverness. And for guests wishing to drive, car parking is available on the port. So again, when you guys get your certificate, make sure you post this because like, again, I'm sure a lot of people haven't even heard of these people. Oh, test time already. What is the main cruising area of the Hebridean Princess? The Mediterranean Highlands and Islands of Scotland, Caribbean. The Highlands and Islands. The Highlands and Highlands of Scotland. Very good. How many cabins are there on board the Hebridean Princess? 20. I'm going to guess 20. 20? Anybody else? 28. I think it's 28. 28. 28. Very good. How many cabins on board have Adrian Princess are dedicated to solo travelers? Oh, I think it's one, one third. third, I think. Very good. What is the name of the restaurant on board the Hebridean Princess? The Columba. Columba. Other than providing an amazing cruise holiday, what else can Hebridean do to ensure guests have a stress-free holiday? Book air or rail, pack suitcases, do the ironies. <laughs> Book air or rail. <laughs> air and rail, very good. All right. Now we're on our third course, Lord of the Highlands. Lord of the Highlands is Hebadrian's newest ship. She takes Hebadrian's unique style of cruising to the intricate inland waterways of the Caledonian Canal, the idyllic inner Hebrides, Hebrides, the untamed and remote Orkney Islands, as well as the beauty of Scotland's east coast. Uh, like Hebadrian Princess, Lord of the Highlands cruises are all inclusive, including fine dining experiences, complimentary drinks, including Tattinger Champagne, engaging shore visits, gratuities on board and ashore, and guides and guest speakers. All 19 stylish cabins on board the Lord of Highlands are elegantly furnished in rich hardwood with the best of contemporary design. All have windows and a private walk-in shower room. There is one suite and four cabins with a private balcony, and all come with bathrobes, slippers, and molten brown toiletries. Okay, beautiful. So again, one suite and four cabins with balconies. With its impressive glass atrium, the Panorama Lounge is filled with com comfortable and contemporary armchairs for the perfect view of the scenery. The arching window seat is the perfect place to catch a glimpse of the next installment of the journey ahead. But for more formal arrangements, 
The window lined Pullman chair area of the lounge is somewhere to settle with a good book. these courses concise tests are right there with them. how beautiful nice and comfy those chairs yeah i love the seating there sorry <laughs> i know <laughs> your little glass of champagne and... i could get lost <laughs> learn how to dance how cute look at them <laughs> That's their traditional Highland dance. Okay. All right. So well, only the freshest and finest ingredients are used in Lord of the Highland menu choices, most of which are procured from local suppliers. Smart, sparkling glass and fine china complement the excellent cuisine. Meals on board Lord of the Highlands are an invitation to dine among friends in the elegant Caledonian restaurant where all round, all round picture windows mean guests will never miss the view. Okay, does anybody have the answers to this second test? When we get done with the video, we'll go over with you. Okay. Second test. Okay, so I don't know if I need to go back. Does anybody have them? If not, can you guys go ahead and read them off and we'll answer them with you? Yeah, she asked the question. Sure, I can, can do it. Yeah. Um, okay, the first one I got correct because I um heard I heard the um <laughs> I heard the answer from the okay, so I'm on the, the second one. Now? Yeah, well for, uh, the first one, do you know what it is? Because it looks like Teresa and Sandy need them also. Oh darn, I forgot the it was okay. the Highlands. Highlands to the islands or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it was like, it has the word high, Highlands in it for the question one. Perfect, thank you. Um, I think it said Highlands and um, Highlands, Scotland. It had Scotland in, in the answer. In a, yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I hope that helps. Um, the second one is how many cabins are there on board the Hebridean? Is that the 28? 28. 28, okay. Yeah. Okay, All right. Um, third question, how many cabins on board Herbidian Princess are dedicated to solo travelers? One third. One third. One third. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number four, uh, what is the name of the restaurant on board uh, Columba Her Herbidian? Or yeah, Columba, Columba or something. Yeah. Oh, Columbia. Oh, Columba. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Uh, last one, other than providing an amazing cruise holiday, what else can Hebridian do to ensure guests have a stress-free holiday? Rail and air. Rail and air, yeah. Okay, oh, pack suitcases, that's funny. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Sandy, Teresa, you guys good? Yeah. Good, okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Thank you guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. <clears throat> Traveling to and from Lord of Highlands could not be simpler with specifically thought out transfer and car parking arrangements. We can assist with the rail and air travel to Inverness to connect with our, our coach transfers to Inverness. And for guests wishing to drive, car parking can be ar arranged at Inverness Airport. Again, test questions. How many stylish cabins does Lord of Highlands have? 19. I think. I thought it was. Yep, yep. it is 19. How many balcony cabins are there on board? Four. Four. Very good. What toiletries can be found? 
the molten brown. The brown. Very good. What's the name of the lounge on board the Lord of the Highlands? Panorama. Very good. What is the name of the restaurant on board the Lord of the Highlands? Scottish. The Caledonia. That, I think that was the cat. Yeah, the Caledonia. Yeah, the Caledonia. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, two more guys. I, I really like this line. The the uh, Lord the of line? the Highlands. Yeah, I'm real. Mm -hmm. If I had to book um, one of those cruise lines, I'd definitely book that. The Highlands. Well, maybe we'll have to try to hopefully, maybe you'll win one. It says anybody that does the training by the end of September can win a cruise. Yep, I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, discover the intricate inland waters of the Caledonian Canal and the stunningly beautiful west coast of Scotland from onboard the truly unique Lord of Glens. Uh, the canal transports guests ser serenely from Inverness to Fort William, and with only 50 guests, the emphasis is not on speed but on style. Whilst the relaxed and cozy atmosphere harks back to tailor-made travel or of the old-fashioned variety. Lord of the Glens cruises represent excellent value with all meals and shore visits included in the fare. Drinks and gratuities are extra. Okay, so pay attention to that. Lord of the Glens is appointed uh, in traditional style with richly clad mahogany finishes and warm furnishings. The polished wood, rich fabrics, and upholstery contribute to the cozy feel as much as the intimate sides. The public spaces are comfortable and welcoming, perfectly suited to, be the, to the relaxed style of cruising, whilst the attentive expert crew is at your service. The open top deck furnished with leak or teak tables and chairs offers unparalleled views and is the ideal place to enjoy the slow meandering of the canal as the scenery glides gently by or observe the crew busy at work as we pass through the locks. <clears throat> the cabins on board the Lord of Glens are designed for maximum comfort and relaxation. Each offers in-suite facilities supplied with natural Highland soap company toiletries, all cabins are outside facing with 23 having large picture windows affording views of the highlands and islands. Two lower deck cabins offer two large portholes each and all cabins are distributed across the three decks with most being comprised of twin beds. Again, beautiful, right? On you know, board this is the lower, oh, Marnie, this is the lowest of them. And so far to me, it's like better than the other two. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh yeah. On board Lord of Glens, lunch varies depending on the day's activities. Dinner is full service, three course meal with coffee on the final, final gala evening. No cruise would be complete without a traditional recital of Robert Burns address to Haggis. So, and Linda put what Haggis is in the chat. Uh, solo travelers will find a warm welcome as seating is with fellow guests in a single city with a relaxed and informal atmosphere. All the Lord of Glens cruises operate between Inverness and Pile of Lockups on the west coast of Scotland. The nearest transport hub is Inverness and we operate a coach transfer between Inverness Airport, Inverness City Center and embarkation, disembarkation points of the ship included in the fare. You know, look at beautiful coloring, right? All right, what two places mark the start and end of the Cal Caledonian Canal? Inverness Fort William, Inverness Oban, Inverness Kyle of Lockhouse. I, I, yeah, or Inverness to Fort. Oh, yeah. Is that the Fort William or Lockhart? That's the first one. Fort yep. William? Fort oh, William. Lock what, Lock I think it's Fort William. Yeah. Fort William. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. What is not included in the Lord of Glen's cruise fare? The drinks and gratuities. Very good. What toiletries can be found in the Lord of the Glen's cabins? Uh, Highland. The high, highland, yeah. Oh, yeah, the highland, yeah. Lord of the Glens cruises operate from and to which two ports? That was this one. I think it's yeah. I think yeah. That's the one, right? Yeah. In Venice. To where should you travel to connect with Lord of the Glens coach transfer? Invertus. 
that's right. Amber. Very good. One more left, guys. This was a short one. All right, selected destination highlights. So St. Uh, Kilda is a remote archipelago situated 64 kilometers west, northwest of North Oost in North Atlantic Ocean. It contains the westernmost islands of the outer Hebrides of Scotland. The largest island is Hertha, whose sea, sea cliffs are the highest in the United Kingdom. Three other islands were also used for grazing and seabird hunting. <laughs> the Caledonian Canal stretches 60 miles along the Great Glen from Fort William to Inverness. Stunning Highlands Waterway runs from Inverness to Fort William on the West Coast. It passes through a range of pretty, pretty towns and villages, uh, locks and countryside, providing a beautiful scenic setting to visitors. Set in the shadow of Ben Nevis, Britain's tallest mountain, Neptune Staircase, is a dramatic flight of eight locks on the Colonial, Caledonian Canal. The Kalanish Stones are an arrangement of standing stones placed in a pattern with the central stone circle located on the Isle of Lewis, Scotland. They were erected in the late Neolo Neolithic era and with, um, were a focus of a ritual activity during Bronze Age. They are near the village of Kalanish on the west coast of Lewis um, in the outer Hebrides, uh, Scotland. Sorry. <laughs> The islands of Canna, Aig, Mulk, and Rumlai, just south of the Isle of Skye, sitting between the West Coast Scottish mainland and the Western Isles. Each island has an abundance of wildlife, rich heritage, incredible landscapes, but while they are close together, each island feels very different. The Northern Isles refer to the captivating chain, this is a beautiful picture, of islands off the north coast of mainland Scotland. These islands are characterized by their cool and temperate uh, climate, heavily influenced by the surrounding seas. All right, how long is the Caledonian Canal? 60 miles. 70, is it 60? 60. Yes, good. 60. How many locks make up the Neptune's staircase? Eight. Eight, yep, that's eight. Very good. How many I islands make up the small isles? Oh, I think I took four. Four, I thought. Very good. Where are the Kalanish stones located? Isle of Lewis. Jura. It's Lewis. Lewis, very good. How many kilometers west northwest is St. Kilda from North Oost? Oh, is it? Is it six? Oh, I'm trying to think if it was 64 or 34. 64, maybe? I don't know. It's not 64. No, 34. 34. Oh, so 100, yeah. oh 104. 104. We can go back. 104. Wow. You can go back. There we All go. the answers are wrong. Yay, certificate. <laughs> yeah, go to 104 and you get 100% right. <laughs> There we go. All right. So congratulations, everybody. You got your certificate. Beautiful. Look at that certificate. So oh, make sure beautiful. you post it. Let people know you are now a specialist and tell them about this amazing Scottish uh, cruise line that you can now go on and share with them. Um, certificates. Oh, so if you guys want to wait just one moment, I want to see if you can help me pick two more out of here for the next two Fridays, because I like this uh, this um, training oh, yeah, program. It's vast. Right, did everybody get their certificate? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's look and see if there's any here that we haven't done yet. Um, Belize, Daytona, let me pull up my list so we can see what we haven't done. All right. Yeah, I like this course because again, it's short, it's sweet and a uh, test runs right with it. So 
All right. Um, Cape Town Cognate, what's that? I don't think we've done this one. It's been I what think we did, let me see when we, we did, did Belize. We did Belize, Belize. but let me see how we long. Do we do Cook Islands. What is that one? Okay, so we did this, uh, looks like three years ago. So Belize is one we can uh, do. Is Belize old? Do, do, do. Let me check my YouTube too, just to make sure. Uh, three years ago, Hawaiian Islands. Yep. So we can do Belize. That's a. That's when we can do. So I'll do that one, and then what other one do we do? I just, I just wanted to see this because it's uh, with Paris. Uh, France renowned, nestled in the heart from vineyards. Okay, so that's that one. Many other ones? Cape Town, Cook Islands. I, yeah, well, I don't know what Cook Islands are, do you? Cook Island, we did two years ago. I don't think we did Cook. Oh. Yeah, we haven't done the, the Cognac one. Okay. Should we do Belize and the Paris yeah, you one? you want to do that Cognac one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll do these two on the next two um, Fridays. We'll add that because we finished Windstar. Uh, Marriott's on Saturdays, and then next Sunday we're doing the um, Peak District Derbyshire. That's this one, Britain's National Park. So kind of different ones, so that's kind of fun. So if you guys can think of any ones you want to do for next month, let me know. Um, I will be at Open House um, so we won't be doing dang, so we won't be doing certificate workshops for three weeks because I'll be in Thailand the end of the month, and then I'll be at boot camp in St. Louis. And then Yay. We'll, <laughs> we'll be at a in Hawaii for the next weekend with Founders Council. So we'll have a few weeks off, but uh there'll still be plenty of trainings, guys. So stay plugged in and uh Let's have fun and keep learning, right? As we say, you're in business for yourself and not by yourself. And again, I appreciate you guys joining me now on Sundays. We had a good, good turnout. I think we, we had 18 people on. So thank you guys for joining me and uh, have an amazing weekend, everybody. If you can get on um, the Q&A tonight with uh, corporate, um, always fun to to hear questions and stuff and always something new. So even though you've been here for a while, um, you'll still learn something new anytime you get on those live ones. So have a great weekend. Um, as we say, your business for yourself and not by yourself. And if we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. Bye. Thank you. If you guys uh, have Kohl's in town, they're giving away free Kohl's cash. All you have to do is go in and it's anywhere from $5 to $100. So me and my daughter are going to run over. She got a $25 one Friday night. <laughs> oh, Kohl's. <laughs> you just have to, Kohl's, yeah. You just have to oh. go and spend spend it that day. So, But she's moving out in two weeks. So we're getting her some stuff for her house. So, for oh, her. Yeah. so I'm going to be an empty nester except for my doggies. But I oh. don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have, I'll have to, to, to find your roommate. Yeah, you guys all have to keep me company. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all in right. California, right? Aren't you Vegas. in California? Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Yep. Oh, we're going to Laughlin in November. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe Linda and I'll take a road trip out there. We just Yeah, we'll be there. To, uh, 
Lake Havasu um, to pick up a couch, or no, where did we pick up? Chairs for my daughter. Yeah, our um, stool chairs. Two oh. and a half hour drive out there to the London Bridge, but uh, it was a nice little ride. So, oh, how nice. Uh, Windstar Cruises, there was only two. We thought it was going to last longer. So, there's only two for Windstar. Um, so, if you, you know, it's right here Windstar Part Two, Windstar Part One. So, we finished that up. Uh, Marriott, we just started that. Uh, that was kind of fun yesterday, trying to get everybody registered and stuff. But uh, again, if you want those perks, guys, the, the yep. Marriott, uh, fantastic rates, please join us. Um, you can catch up on part one, and then uh, we're probably going to have two more courses. Uh, Linda and I will be at LAX Airport next, not next Saturday, but the Saturday after. Next Saturday, Linda and I will be at the uh, pet um uh shot clinic so i maybe do it oh. from there <laughs> and then we'll be at lax the next saturday we're there the whole day so uh we took our cheap uh spirit flights and uh figured oh we'll just hang out at lax they have really good ramen there so that's gonna be our lunch <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're heading out to thailand with uh coach val about 30 of us are going so uh oh, watch us we're going to be riding the elephants and doing a lot of uh, sightseeing. So I, I, my daughter got me this for Christmas and I just opened it. It's my um, fan. It keeps me cool. So I'm like, okay, oh, I got to so pack cute. this and uh, got to pack my, what is it? How long is it? Is it a 16 hour flight, Linda? Do you know? Six and then you have yeah, to pack about a 16, 15 and a half or 16 hours. Your SPF. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yep. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, I because I love the rain. Luckily, it's supposed to rain a lot. So, you know, I come oh. from Nebraska and I miss the the rain and the thunderstorms and stuff. I don't know if you guys saw um somebody from it was on one of the YouTube things, but they came from California um to somewhere or Florida, and all of a sudden they heard thunder. They didn't know what it was. And the guy ran, run it and fell in the driveway. He was, you know, they didn't know what it was. So um, it's like, I miss the thunderstorms and the rain. We never get it here in Vegas, <laughs> hardly ever. So, and it's funny when my son was stationed in uh, Seattle, you know, it always rains in Seattle, right? Every time I've gone, oh, yeah. it never rained. <laughs> oh, I guess man. I bring sunshine. No. <laughs> 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 anyway, but uh, have a good day. On you too. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. We'll talk um, to you soon. Marnie, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I just no, had no a worries. quick question. Yes. On the oh the online travel training, it asks here your current role in the travel industry, employed in the travel industry, or student in the travel industry. Um, I would probably what did I put? Let's see. Home base, employed in the travel industry. Okay. I'm registering, so I didn't know which one to choose. Perfect. Yep. And then sales consultant, company name, Archer Travel, uh, Travel Network Group. I put it's Travel Leaders, but I think I chose Travel Network Group. And then our um, IATAN and then Home Based. Okay. Uh under consortium, you said um, I attend? No, Travel Network Group. Travel Network Group. And then under- Okay, I found it, the Travel Network. Okay. Yeah. And then under agency- Company name. Company name is Archer Travel. Just okay. remember, even though you brand yourself, we work under Archer's um, I, Archer's IATAN. So you always want to make sure you're related to Archer. Okay. And then, okay. Uh, and then the uh, and then, the IATAN 0582-48-40. And then your home based. 0582-48-40. Okay, I may I am mainly home based, right? Correct. Okay, decision maker or buyer is a yes or no. Um, I maybe say yes. I don't see okay. that. One. Not a robot. I accept OT. Okay, I think I got it from here. Perfect. Not a bit. 
prepared. <laughs> we're, right. we're just employees. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Yeah. How do we enroll for the uh, contest for the uh, certificate I think it, we just did? I, I think it's automatic. I think okay. as long as you completed it, they'll have your information. Okay. Let's that's take, what I was hoping. Yeah. Let's take a look. What it says. Oops. Yeah. Come on. Back here, go to the destinations. Yeah, they got a lot in here for um. for the uh, UK. All right, which one is it? Come on. Where does it show the specials? Travel, luxury, transportation, destination, there's cruises. Okay. You know, there was a thing on here that talked about the specials. Yeah, I just okay. had it. Up ahead, right there. There, here, complete these courses. So here, win a cruise, complete the course by the 30th to have a chance to win. So, okay, so it looks like it just does it automatically. Yeah. Ooh, maybe we should do a uh, Hilton six-night stay. Let's look at that. Hilton draw extended six night stay for two people. Successfully complete this course. All only those who complete the course will be eligible. They should complete the training with at least 95%. Prove they are actively promoting Hilton Dubai. Prize draw will be random. Prize is valid. Oh, this is only valid for travel agents in the UK. So yeah, that's that's why I want to do more of the US. Let's see if that's the same over here. Okay, it doesn't say that on this one. So hopefully we have a chance to win on this one. So all right, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much. And uh we will see you next Friday then for either Belize or Cognat. Cognat. Um, I'm sorry, on the registration, it asks for a phone number. Do I put mine in or Archer Travels? De depends on where it's asking you. Because sometimes if it's under agency, you'll put Archer. If it's under you as the agent, it's your number. So, um, Well, I, I'm at that link you gave us at the beginning of this um, uh, okay. Zoom. And so it led me to register for free access to training. Yeah, I would put your phone number then. Cause like right here, it's under my information and then the agency is down here. So I put your phone number. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's do Belize and C-O-G-N-A-C through OTT for next two Fridays. Okay. Perfect. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys.